Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This feels very weird. I know it shouldn't because it's only been like 10 days. I've taken 10 days off, but it feels like a lifetime. As someone who like shares my life on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, I've kind of not been doing that at all. Maybe a tiny bit on Instagram, but really I've gone completely quiet. So it feels like a long time. Now, some parish notices. I should say, if you hear banging, that's because the builders have started back at work again today. They are back working on the top bathroom in Keegan's house, or I should say my house now. So if you hear any knocks and bangs, it's because of that. Also, uh, I'll come on to this, but if I sound a bit weird, it's because I've not been very well. So, Merry Christmas. Oh well, I hope you all had a really good Christmas and a, a lovely new year as well. Gosh, it just feels really weird, guys. I'll be honest, I haven't really wanted to film a video, and even now, I'm like, will this video even make the light of day? Because I, I don't know what to say, I haven't planned anything, but I just feel like I need to make a start. I have never taken time off from social media ever since starting in 2013. There has always been between the channel with Leah and my solo channel with all the different other platforms. I've never taken a solid break of time away. So for example, when I go on holiday to Florida with my family, I might not be posting or editing, but I'm filming and I'm filming everything. And uh, you know, I have days off here and there. I might've had three or four days off at one time, but I've never had more than a week off. So this to me feels very, very new. And I was inspired by some friends of mine that have done it, Cherry Wallace and Brogan Tate, they're both YouTubers who I'm friends with, and both of them are very good at setting boundaries and taking complete time off from posting and filming and editing and just, you know, the things involved in being a content creator. And I remember Brogan had said that, I think she'd only taken a week off, but she was like, oh, it was amazing, but the, the trouble was I didn't want to come back. Like, I didn't want to start filming and posting again. And I was like, oh, that's... That's weird though, because you obviously love your job. Like I know Brogan, she loves what she does. And I'm like, I love what I do. I, I can't, that's a weird thing. Oh my gosh, I totally get it. I totally get it. It was really hard. I finished on Christmas Eve evening, finished editing my last video and I scheduled two videos over the Christmas period. And at first it was quite difficult. I was getting a bit antsy and I was like checking my phone, checking the YouTube app, checking comments, doing all these things. And then after a while, I just really relaxed into it. And now it's at the stage, it's only been 10 days, but I'm like, I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice not to have to pick the camera up all the time and share my life. It's really nice not to edit, it's really nice. Anyway, this chatty video is just it's more for me than for you guys, I suppose. It's so that I can break the back of this uh, quiet period and just get a video out there and hopefully that can get the ball rolling. So I'm sure you're all wondering about the time scales and where I'm at with the move up to Yorkshire. So as you can see, I'm up in Yorkshire. I was, uh, I went home to my parents from the 22nd until the 30th. I then drove to London with Keegan and we packed up a whole load of things in my car, including my big chest of drawers because Keegan's car is bigger than mine. So we were like, we might be able to not hire a van in the next couple of weeks. We could like, we might be able to fit it in my car. So we did and we managed it and we both drove up. I drove in my car, he drove in his. So we were like, we might as well use the wasted petrol. <laughs> with a move so we loaded up both cars and then I spent new year here and it's currently I think I'm going to post this today on Wednesday the 4th it's Wednesday the 4th and officially I move in 10 days time so I'm going to head back to London in the next couple of days and then I'll have my last sort of week in London and then I move out Keegan will drive down either on the Friday night, Friday the 13th or something. Ooh, that's unlucky. Not I believe in luck. And then on the 14th, that is the final day. I mean, I do have a week's grace period because uh, the girl that's gonna be renting my room from me is not moving in until the 21st. So that gives me a week in case I can't get everything moved or if something goes wrong. But yeah, basically I have some work to do on the house as well. Me and Lucy want to sort of do some last minute touch-ups of, you know, scuffed walls and things like that. I want to fix something on my wardrobe doors. So there's a lot of work to do next week and I guess I'll film some of that. That's something I can film. Anyway, the last 10 days, as I said, have been really nice to not work. However, I don't feel I've enjoyed it to its full extent because I've not been very well. So the last you will have heard is that I had tonsillitis and if only that was as bad as it got, guys, it got really bad. <laughs> and I'm on day 16 now since I first got ill 
and it's still lingering and I feel so much better. I've got a lot more energy. On the whole, I'd say I'm at like 90%. However, my throat is still quite sore, especially of an evening, my throat gets really, really sore. Keegan obviously caught it as well. So we've both been ill for New Year. We just spent it, just me and him here on the sofa in pain. Uh, <laughs> we've both been dosing each other up with medicine and just trying to get through it. So at least we've both been kind of on the same tracks. I mean, Keegan's had his tonsils removed, so he didn't get tonsillitis to the extent that I did. And I don't even know if you can call it tonsillitis if he doesn't have tonsils, but he's had the similar symptoms to me. Um, you know, really sore throat. So yeah, we're both on the mend. Today's sort of like our first day back at work. In fact, you know the event that Keegan and I were supposed to speak at in Ireland and we got snowed in. Well, we didn't get snowed in. The flights got cancelled because of the snow. Well, we're doing it virtually today. So Keegan's currently upstairs in the office doing his hour-long talk to these people, these clients of our friend. And then once he's done, I'll be doing a half an hour talk about social media and stuff. So yeah, today is sort of about gently easing back into work, I feel. I love that I was like, oh, I don't know what to say. And I've been talking for seven minutes straight classic me. Um, I feel like a fat lump, guys. I don't like to talk negatively about myself and I don't like to talk super publicly about stuff like this because I know some people get triggered by it, hence why I have a membership tier called Health is Wealth that is all about that sort of thing and I'm going to be posting on that very, very soon because, guys, I have gained quite a bit of weight. I think I've gained about six or seven pounds over the Christmas period, which is fine because A, it's Christmas and B, I've been sick. So, you know, what do you expect? But now is the time. Yesterday was the first day that I sort of got back on track with my diet. I rationed a little bit of chocolate, so I still managed to have something that I enjoyed but was back on track and I weighed myself this morning and I've already come down a little bit. So that's good. But um, yeah, as I said, if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider joining the Health is Wealth tier uh, membership. And also, some people have asked that if you're a VIP member, does that mean you have to pay a whole nother membership? No, you just upgrade your membership. So you just pay for that one instead of that one. But you, the Health is Wealth, you get everything on it. Anyway, this is not about promoting that. As you can tell, I'm very weary. Maybe I'm not 90% better. I'm just, um, it's not just the physical guys, it's the mental as well. My brain hasn't been in work mode for a long time and I forget how much I've told you, where we're at, what we're doing. In terms of the move, how I'm feeling about the move, I feel like, do you know what? I feel a lot better since moving my chest of drawers up and bringing a whole, I've moved probably about 70% of my clothes and we've had a big sort out during one of the days when we were sick. We went, both went through our clothes and chucked loads of things away, like gave some to charity. I now have a whole wardrobe that's just mine. I have drawers in my chest of drawers that are just mine and I've got my stuff here, most of my stuff. So it feels a lot better now. It feels less like, because Keegan's house has always been somewhere that I visited, obviously, as a boyfriend. I'm like, this is my boyfriend's house. And I think that was part of the panic of going, well, I'm leaving my lovely house in London and that's my home and this is my thing, like my space and my things and leaving Lucy and, and leaving Lucy thing, I can't replace Lucy, so that will still remain sad. However, the things, moving the things up here has just felt really nice. And now I'm like, oh, it feels a bit more like my home because I've got everything. Even filming this video, I filmed a video from this angle before, but because I didn't have my tripod with me, it was down in London, I was like stacking books and trying to find, but my tripod's up here. I've got all of my camera equipment up here, everything that I need. So when I go home to London in a couple of days time, it will be like the reverse of what it's been. So as in my, most of my stuff is up here, I'll be packing a bag for a seven night trip to London. And then that's going to be very, very strange. Yesterday, Keegan and I went to a coffee shop and we just sat down and planned out our years. We've set some joint goals together, which I think is really lovely and really important actually in a couple. It was something I think that I'd heard of people doing and I was like, I think we need to set some joint goals because then, you know, we've got our separate lives, but we've also got some something to aim for together. So we set some joint goals. We also set all of our individual goals, financial, personal, health, all those sorts of things. So I've got those written down in a book, which is really nice. I don't think I will share them with you guys. I mean, I might do. I don't know. We'll see. So in terms of last year, I guess we could do a little review, couldn't we, of 2022? Please, by the way, let me know down in the comments how your 22 how that's a real tongue twister how your 2022 was and how you would like your 2023 to be different or better but yeah let me know down in the comments for me as a whole 2022 was a really really great year 
but it was also just a really, really bad year. I just feel like it was a, a complete, you know, balance scale of both, which I suppose is not necessarily a bad thing, but I think lots of people, based on my social media, I think lots of people would assume that for me, 2022 was the best year ever because of meeting Keegan. And I mean, he definitely has contributed to the main factor on why my year was so good. However, there were lots of bad things, which I won't go into, but just, I don't really talk about this online because I suppose it's never, sorry, the builders, I got a bit of memories. Yeah, I don't really talk about this online because it's never been fully diagnosed, but I do struggle with anxiety and feeling anxious. And last year, <clears throat> last year, it definitely sort of reared its ugly head for a good portion of that. Hence why I sought therapy and then I ended up ghosting my therapist. Uh, so this year would be a goal, I guess, to if I feel like I need to still to invest time and money into therapy once again. However, I think at the moment I feel like it's cropping up again and I really wanted the start of the new year to be, you know, hitting the ground running and feeling so much better anxious wise. Cause to be honest, my anxiety was probably worse from like June all the way through to maybe, well, June to August, September time. And then I felt great after that. And the anxiety has crept back in again, which is really, really frustrating. And it's not how I anticipated to start this year. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is go through the resources that I did learn from my therapist that I had a brief encounter with and also read the book that she had recommended me, which, yeah, I haven't really dipped into yet. So I'm going to try and sort of DIY it, do it myself for a little bit, um, use the resources that I already have available to me. And then if I'm still feeling like this, you know, in a month's time, then I will look back into therapy again. But I thought it was important to share that because I think that's something that you guys don't see and what I'm very aware of as an influencer, which you guys know I hate that term, but whatever, is that I never want to be that type of influencer that only shows the highlight reel. And it really bothers me when people say that about me. It's usually trolls and people that don't watch my content, you know, they just think that I'm sharing all the highlights because I don't think I do. I think I'm I'm quite good at balancing it and sharing the bad and tough times along with the good times. However, I don't share all the bad stuff and um, yeah, but I think it's important to say that because maybe it looks like I had the best year of my life last year and um, it was definitely up there, but it, it wasn't free from bad things. But anyway, I am gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bit of a weird video to start the year with. Hopefully I can create some good videos for you guys, keep you entertained. Thank you so much for sticking around and being here and being one of my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.